Hi again. It's been a while, but I'm going to put more videos on. Please let me know if any there is anything you want to know. So I'll try to do it as well. Uh, this episode is about swept boss. How to make a shape using that feature. Okay, to do a swept boss, you need a path and a profile. To do that, first I'm going to sketch my path and for example this line is going to be it after sketching it you have to rebuild it and you have your path now now you have to sketch your profile on a different plane for example the right plane and I'm gonna sketch a circle and rebuild it and use it as my profile okay now I'm going to use this option in feature tab and choose my profile and then my path and there you have your part okay that was the easiest way of using this feature I'm gonna make it a little more difficult this time um, the first one I just made uh, the path was started uh, at the origin point but this time I'm gonna draw my line like this so the origin point would end up in the middle of my path in this way you don't have any default planes starting or ending at any either side of the either side of your path so all you need is a new plane located at either side because otherwise if you sketch your for example profile on this plane it will look something like this and if you use the feature swept boss your shape would end up not complete something like this so in that case you have to have a new plane created by simply clicking on one of these default planes over here and holding the control key on your keyboard down and click on your plane and you should be able to see the options over here which my SolidWorks crashed and it's not fake it's just still recording yeah yeah sorry for that technical difficulties you should be able to see these options over here and by choosing the parallel and clicking on the preferred side of your path you have your plane created and now you can have your sketch on it okay again for example the circle rebuilt in it going to the features tab choosing your profile and your path now you have it okay this time I'm gonna make it a little more difficult by creating actually it's not that difficult um, for example this is an example of a normal um, spring okay to make a spring you should have a spiral path and you should be able to move your profile usually a circle on that path to make your spring and okay to have your spiral path you should sketch a circle and the diameter of this circle would define the diameter of your spring for example 100 and I rebuilt it. Okay, um, you sh you should not be able to see this option by default over here. What I did was just right click on any blank side of this toolbars over here and simply click on the curves over here, and this toolbar on the left appears. And if you can see this one, helix and spiral. If you click on it and choose your circle 
it'll change it to a spiral path you can simply add or remove the revolutions, the start angle the direction of um, your spiral anything I suggest you to change the start angle to zero because it'll make your job a little easier by having a plane, at least one plane perpendicular to this end of your spiral path alright, um, now I'm gonna draw my profile over here and now rebuilt in it now going to the feature tab using Suet Boss profile path and there you have your screen um... okay here again this time um... I'm gonna tell you about the options you can have uh, in the set boss tab in features. For example, this is another way of making a spring by simply creating your path, which is a line this time, and I'm gonna sketch my profile in the same plane this time you can be as exact as you want but this for now this is not necessary this is my profile this is my path I'm gonna use the swap bus feature choosing them okay now by going to options changing the orientation to twist along the path and the definition to turns I should be able to make this a spring there are other options in that tab you can just um, let me know if there is anything you want to know I'll try to make a video out of that and put it on YouTube thank you very much for watching